is, is clearly the hardest for a lot of reasons. Uh, for us, having two weeks off and finding our rhythm, uh, even more so. Um, and then on top of it, uh, I thought uh, San Francisco was a very good team. Uh, they uh, hadn't been shut out, but I think a couple of times early, they have some dangerous guys and uh, they, they put us under some pressure at some time. But uh, I'm proud of the guys. and how we responded in each instance and uh, found a way to win a game and advance and uh, get to the Sweet 16. Question from players. Tate, just talk about the game winning goal. You had just had a little bit of a rest. Did that <coughs> kind of pay off a little? Uh, yeah, I think it did. And tactically, credit to the coaches who kind of switched formation and do uh, something different where I'm sliding in more closer to Mo, as well as just finding that space in the middle. And we were lacking that defensively as well as offensively. And I think when I switched into that position, it gave me a little more opportunity to find the ball, to have that like you know pop in the middle to move it around. And we had a nice uh, string of passes moving it around. And Tim played me a nice ball in. I just took a touch. And fortunate for the deflection, but it, it was going in either way. Is there any moment that you recalled this season where you were just <laughs> felt like you, this was your moment? Like missed shots previously where you're like, this one's going to go away. Um, I mean, yeah, uh, I've been waiting for that moment. I was had a lot of chances this game, and we couldn't, you know, I mean, Adam had one goal for the first time, and it was a really good strike, but uh, there was some moments in the beginning I thought I had, but it, coming up to that moment, I thought I had it won it. If you, if you go through our history of big goals and big games, Tate's usually involved somehow, some way, um, and it's it's been through his career and not just here, in his youth career as well. He, he, uh, he rises to occasions and has a way of scoring big goals. Adrian, if you go through your history of goals against California teams this year, you're usually involved. Can you just talk about, you had two in the first game and then one here. Just what was, the, talk about your, your game tonight. Um, I think overall, um, talking about the team, I think we could have played um, better with the ball. I, I don't think we did our best game in, of the season in terms of possession. Um, but I mean, at this time of the year, the important thing is to win games. So that's what we did. And personal, personally, and I mean, I was just waiting for the NCAA tournament to score again. <laughs> I don't Tate, know why I waited so long. <laughs> Tay, when you're playing a team that's so hot like that, how important was it to come out and get a goal for, you know, just kind of get a, get ahead of them? Um, it's huge. It like brings a lot of momentum right after we get that first goal. And I remember watching film a day or two ago, and we were looking at them, and we were like, wow, this team's pretty talented. And we knew that coming in, we didn't underestimate them, and we went at them. We worked really hard and trained previously on some set pieces and some opportunities we knew we could uh, you know, take advantage of. And that first goal was very key for us, and it showed that like our hard work and training paid off, and as well as just the momentum after that to keep carrying on and keep scoring. What was the halftime speech like when it was equal? We're okay. Yeah, we actually did a lot of good things in the first half, and we were in a good spot. A um, little bit disappointed that we, we gave one away so late in the half, but we, we felt like uh, we were doing enough things right that if we had continued to do those things that we were going to be in a, in a good place at the end. And what was the reasoning behind going with uh, both of the teachers? Jake? Had a solid first half, I thought. You said his goal was one in the second. Yeah, he did. He had a solid first half, but he couldn't play the second half. He had an injury. So um, the, the kicking leg for him, uh, he has been hitting uh, a few, and I think one of them he strained a muscle. And with that, how important the kicking game was, uh, he just couldn't go in the second half. But how wonderful it is to have two goalkeepers that you trust that are very good. And I thought Will was good in the second half as well. Hey, can you talk about that? Because you guys – there's not really a drop off when either one come in. How, how you guys mentally look at both of those goalkeepers? Um, they both have like you know different advantages from just their abilities, and we look at both of them. You got Will, who's very good at using his feet more in possession. You have Jake, who can really you know smack it and, and have the ball higher up the field for us to pressure. So it's just different. They're both versatile in those areas, and you just take advantage of whatever one they're using, and we just work to it. So let's do it. Anything else for the players when you come out? Good. All right. Yes. The plan, just a five, six minute little rest. Yeah, and, and you know, with it being tight at the end, you're not sure if it's going to go into overtime. And uh, anticipating that we may need more minutes than even 90, 
uh, we just get Mo a little bit of a rest and Adam a little bit of a rest and Tate a little bit of a rest. I thought when they all came back in, they all uh, helped us even more. You've been on several NCAA runs. What's the key to one? What, how, do you, how do you get a team hot and keep them hot? Well, as I said prior to coming in, is, is the first one's the hardest. That's the, the most difficult for us being off two weeks, especially. You know, we, we didn't have uh, a, a win to, to build on. It was a draw against Virginia two weeks ago. So this helps tremendously. You know, a little bit of relief of getting the first one under your belt, uh, the feel of it, and, um, and now to next week be able to uh, continue to run, and especially at home. And I think that's also hugely important is our, our best runs of when we're we're playing at home and uh, how key it is not to have to travel. Anything else? Anything All else? right. Thank you so much. Appreciate Thanks, it. Coach.